This guy uh, really wanted us to know this had a stroker in it. Funny heat. They they machined out this cover. Yeah. I, like from far away, I thought they just put a piece of tape and wrote 32 on it. <laughs> no, no, they machined it out. Weight reduction, bro. All right, it's day two. We're out here for the top rank open house in a pretty discreet industrial area. But yeah, let's go see what we find. Plenty of fancy S chassis around here. Where are we at now? But yeah, we're here to see some skyline. So yeah, let's go take a walk next door. I expect the Corolla to be here, but I forgot they have this for sale in inventory. And then uh, a lot of cars from on track yesterday. Yeah, my inner uh, San Jose Honda boy is like oh, screaming yeah, yeah, yeah. on the inside right now. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, these are just legal this year. Are these seven, sixes? Or three or four, Evo three or four, I oh, believe. Are they that old? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. You're four. Four, Evo yeah, four. Yeah. yeah. Hey. I don't know my Evos. No, likewise. If it happened to Tommy Mac and then delivery, I know. That's pretty cool to be the leader. Yeah, we're gonna start seeing them in the states. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm a I'm a big fan of these older Evos. Yeah. Any of the Golden Era rally cars, right? <laughs> yeah. Dude, any any time between '89 and like '98. Hilarious. Totally missed. There's a uh, 400Z right behind us. Curious, matches the finger today. Pulling in to go away. Look, it's gonna disappear. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Definitely a better color in person than it was in photos. And in photos, it looked good. <laughs> the biggest door handles on the market. <laughs> Mark, put your head next to this gas cap. Which one's bigger? Oh, well, maybe the gas cap's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool, period correct, veal side. Oh man, cool. Veal side wing also. Totally unmistakable veal side skirts. I just noticed too, every one, two, three, four, five, six cars, everyone had got the same Recaro SR seats. Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I believe so. Someone's probably going crazy for this uh, carbon cluster cover. This like tail light surround, that's like really interesting too. It's gonna be tough because the lights are like, messing it up, but these are like tail light cover plus a wing too. <laughs> you know what sucks about these big skirts? You gotta be careful when you step out of the car. Also, probably one of my favorite wheels, the Rega Masters. I didn't think they'd work on a Mark IV, but they totally do. So I don't know, did you realize how thin that spoke is? Yeah, and then, uh, you know, like a lot of modern designs do this too. They like center cut um, the spokes, like the new TEs, they like scallop out the spokes for weight. Yeah. Wait, and then adds more surface tension too. Mm. 
I believe these wheels cost more than most people's cars. <laughs> right. Now, I was wondering, are those three pieces or two pieces? Excellent question. I'm not, I'm not sure the answer to that. Yeah, the most glittery car, also one of my most favorite from yesterday. Dude, it looks so good in the sun, yeah. on the track. I hate glitter, but this car looked awesome. Again, five spoke, you know, like, are these Equips? What are these? No, Panasport. It seemed like back in the day, everyone was uh, knocking off the Panasport design. Controversial, like, Watanabe's are based off of the Panasport design. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Totally period correct colors too, but imagine how boss you were with a factory gracer interior <laughs> With the matching truss seat belts. Oh man, at least the seat is well worn. I can appreciate that You know they kept on taking out this out for like one lap yesterday But they never did like a full round really because I wanted to were they doing ride-alongs or what were they doing? I, I don't know what they were doing, but uh <laughs> This thing for sure has a sequential in it. I kept wanting to like, you know, hear this thing in anger, but... Oh, yeah. Take a walk. I spotted a Kyusha car over there. This XB, my buddy Victor. Two J swap. Oh, okay. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you. Oh, my God. So I believe a 280Z originally came with this engine. I believe so, it's definitely an L-Series that's like an archaic turbo, but like, you know, used to be a very popular swap back in the day. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, it's all antiquated technology, but totally fits like the car, the rest of the car. Yeah, yeah. 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 Be, like being raced into the storage right now. The tires weren't stretched. Mm. <laughs> It needs a wood grain nardi wheel that, that would like touch finish the car. I think I think all the nardis I'm familiar with are 260. Mm. Or 280. And then I forgot what this is called, but um, this is like a popular like I've Japanese seen, I've Japanese never seen S mod. That yeah, yeah. Any any uh, like lift back, they'll do this conversion too. Okay. So like old Celicas. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 240Z. Well, obviously, this is 240Z, what am I talking about? Yeah. <laughs> the rear splitter is pretty cool on this, too. I believe some people, they take a front lip off of another model oh, and, and flip, it upside down. flip it upside down and uh, make it a rear splitter. That, that actually looks like a trunk wing. Mm. Still got the maintenance light in it. <laughs> Dude, why would you ever replace that? Oh man, you know what's funny? I just realized how this is an L series because the, uh, it's not a cross flow, the intake and the exhaust are both on the same side. That's how you can tell it's an L series. Yeah, yeah. It definitely doesn't get driven at night. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Can't touch this. <laughs> There's got to be a story behind these gloves. Why are they so well used, right? Dude, that guy's got some big mitts though. Holy shit. Yeah, Mark, put your head next to those mitts. No, I'm just kidding. A WRX Type R. So it's the one, the actual initial D one, but I'm pretty sure they're probably hundred thousand dollars now. Everyone needs a dream. <laughs> Another Evil Four. The kit on this is really curious. Someone can tell us what that is. Can you watch TV inside the car? Yeah. So there's uh, three positions for these, and then um, I don't think this is a factory piece but factory you can remove these and there's three positions for the wing yeah I'm yeah like the there we go the right there like insert or yeah. the replacement and then on the uh, 32 gtr there's an optional i believe nismo piece there's an extra gurney flap that uh okay. like kind of goes there oh i think that oh. one down there has it right yeah we'll probably there's plenty there's probably one of them <laughs> one out of a hundred here that has uh that actually has it this uh, big wing is really interesting. It's like it like includes the bottom part too. It's yeah. not just these uh, standoffs. So the uh, vertical slats in rally cars, uh, they're actually so that when the car's sideways, the air can still go and flow underneath the wing properly and uh. give it downforce. Otherwise, if the wind, if the air is just coming sideways, you don't get any downforce anymore. So that's why you see like uh, the multiple slats ah. were really popular to do. Another five spoke. Another five spoke. Um, unrecognizable company. <laughs> but pretty cool, like probably factory Nakaduck on the hood. 
Is this the cheating car? That's the cheating car. Yes, sir. GT4. Okay, cool. I parked. Um, it's been a long time since I went to the place that's not open right now. I parked in there. I don't know if there's any more parking or not, but that's where we parked. There it is, oh, the cheater. <laughs> Another Evil 4. This one's got this cool lip kit on it. <laughs> Evil 4, is white the most common color? Because I think everyone we've seen except for one has been white today. Someone leave a comment below. Tour. This is a Tour V. <laughs> Oh, found a silver one. Oh, saw this car at ours day yesterday too. I remember because these fancy three, these fancy uh, multi-piece wheels by Kakimoto, the exhaust company. <laughs> exhaust company made some wheels. Yeah, nice. Well, I guess these are uh, really old and also very rare. Grant fell in love with that car. I don't know if it's the same car. Maybe he swapped the wheels yesterday. But yeah. Oh, is it different wheels? Yeah, yeah he uh, had a white uh, Meisters on it yesterday. Okay. I spy that Mr. Two is actually right-hand drive. Uh-oh. What, Mr. Two? Or right-hand drive? Yeah. Rotary oh, engine. the cappuccinos. Have some lattes. There's a... There's a Mini Cooper here. green <laughs> VRD next to Yeah, this Mini Cooper was at our hotel earlier today. Usually the dealer, they put a WS for wholesale, <laughs> like they don't want the car anymore. Uh, so I kind of feel bad for this car that it says wholesale on it. But uh, this Cooper's cool. Although I'd just rather get an AW11. Oh, did not expect the 2J in here. Is that a Forester? There's a domestic car over there. Watch, we're going to get a surprise. It's got like a Japanese swap in it or something. It's coffee hour at this part of the venue. The Galanza? Oh, the cappuccinos? The cake cards in general. This thing's sick, man. Recaro seats, manual trans, hot hatch, two door hot hatch. This is cool. I'd rock this thing. I have no clue what it is. I'll rock it. It's actually a Starlet. Oh, it is a Starlet. Yeah. But sold as a Galanza? Or I think, uh, I believe Galanza V is like the sub model. Like, uh, for example, like Chaser, Tour V. Oh, you know? so this is after they did, this is like the front wheel drive. Yeah. K car Starlet. Yeah. Okay. This is cool, man. I wish they kept the rear wiper. I miss hot hatches. I do. Yeah. That yellow Evo. Like, I own one of these. <laughs> See, we were talking about the uh, Wat Watanabe's based off of the Panasport designs. These are, are these the Panasports? Yeah, I believe these are Panasports. Yeah. This is cool, like Nobby, uh, like Nobby tires, too. Oh, like Generation Correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kinda... Yeah, they, they try to go rally with that. Hey, this is yellow NSX. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy needs to come over here. It's a Honda Beat. Honda Beat Vert, did these only come in Vert? Oh man, they had these cheetah seats. 
Not cheetah. Zebra. Cheetahs don't have stripes. <laughs> I wish they were cheetah seats. Zebra seats are equally cool. That's a reason. That's a reasonably sized gas cap. Look at that. Wow, that's interesting. You, um, I thought you had to pop. It looks like these were buttons to pop off, but it looks like that's just how it's manufactured. Super exceed, man. This meat super exceeds my expectation. Super exceeds seats. No smoking, and the factory curtains are killer. Cool. I believe these captain style chairs can flip around to the face of the back too. So you guys can have a party back there. I would take that to What does MMC stand for? Mitsubishi Motor Company maybe. Mitsubishi Motorcycle Club. Star Wagon. Turbo D. She wanted the D with a turbo. <laughs> I'm curious about this. Is this so you can see what? I know sometimes they do this if you got a baby in the back, but. Totally walked past this with the Nismo LMs in a sedan. Is this an auto tech car? Probably not because it's an auto, but. Pretty expensive wheels on the sedan. Immediately jaw dropped as I saw this thing. <laughs> also left hand drives for some reason. We're not looking at this backwards, it's actually left hand drive. Again, just like yesterday, sensory overload, but I spotted something really curious in this other lot. So, obviously, what is that, Millennium, <clears throat> Millennium Jade, there's a 32. What the heck is this? Don't recognize that emblem. And then, looks like this thing hasn't been running in a while. Got some inky wheels. Ah, Ford Ranchero. At least that's if the uh, dash mat's not lying to us, but this has got to pack some heat under hood. Look at that BNM shifter. Hey, so I believe that's the Tamura San So what's 
the nurse saying he, he, he just hurt. He it's okay. No, no, no. Uh, like, Kaz just joined the team, but he, he made it clear that he wants to do a career change. He wants to do, like, performance automotive. What's, so, what's he doing right now? Uh, he was working at Tesla, doing some kind of, like, oh, man. UC or some shit, but he got, like, burned out. Does he speak Japanese? He, like, enough to get around. Uh -huh. He'd have to learn the car stuff. Uh -huh. Right, like, car words, but, uh, Talk about the Altec car. Yeah, what, what is Altec? So, Altec, Altec is like AMG is to Mercedes. Oh, cool. Yeah, or like Brabus. You guys know what year this is? Uh, I don't know the year, but should be pre ninety three or ninety two. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Altec cars. So these are limited. It's a four door. Uh, I be mean, RB twenty five NA. It's high revving, is so it yeah. Front or rear drive? Uh, rear drive. Yeah, yeah rear drive. I was underneath. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that looks yeah. different. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm wrong. It's a RB26. That's high revving. Uh, yeah, NA RB26. Yeah. That's a that's a factory Nissan product. Yeah, and um, so it's very rare, but um, the Altec version of the 32. So what what did Altec do on this car? Do you think? So it's kind of like the beams for Yamaha. So Altec. Um, souped up a RB26, like detuned it, mm. and then made it like high compression, high revving. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so these are people actually rob the engines out of these to put in other stuff. I see. Yeah, and then we get them and people put GTR drivetrains and engines in them. I so see. what's yeah. in there right now? Good question. It's a, it has the badge, but who knows what's in it, right? Yeah, if it's still rear drive, probably like the two the 2.6 is in it. And this is yeah. for sale too, right? Uh, you'd have to ask them. I don't work here. <laughs> But um, yeah, customary with all tech cars, they'll take a sedan and they'll turn it into basically like a GTR variant. Mm. So the, so like my 33 sedan, it would be a four door, but like all GTR underpinnings. I see. Yeah, and they put like the, even the bodywork would be like flared out. Oh, it's because you couldn't get a GTR four door. You could not get a GTR ah, four door. So it would be a R33 Altec oh. GTR. I see. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. But yeah, super, super rare car, mm. these Altec cars. No. Who knows if it's just the badging because it's got an auto in it. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. It's yeah. perfect. Man. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's the correct uh, Altec like color. I see. Oh, I changed the color too. That must have been pretty expensive. I actually have. Yeah, that was five miles away. I oh, I Every time I come back to this cave in, I notice something new. I notice the moon roof, but look, the whole roof moves. So that's way better than yeah. Oh, this thing does not stop. It's 4,100 pounds. Yeah. So originally I was gonna do a six-speed conversion manual, uh -huh. and then this engine's like dying. So I might just I might once convince me to the new Yeah, I'm thoroughly confused. They make a uh, what's it called? There's an Infinity badge on it, but oh yeah, yeah, of course, of course. A lot, there's Japanese companies that like convert, make a conversion, so it looks like a Rolls. Oh my god. Yeah. So far, it's been like 16 hours. Including the car. So. Yeah, so here and there, thirty Believe it or not, this is actually the rarest car at the venue right now. Factory wheels. Factory club. Factory transmission. Factory dash mat. Gotta have one of those. My goodness. <laughs> 